shifting in as domain property of Laplace transform. Suppose Laplace transform of xt is xs, then what should be the Laplace transform of e to the power minus s not t xt? ROC for x of s is r. Now Laplace transform of xt is xs and it is integration of xt e to the power minus st from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now taking the Laplace transform of e to the power minus s not t xt this will be integration of xt e to the power minus s not t e to the power minus st from minus infinity to plus infinity. So Laplace transform of e to the power minus s not t xt is integration of xt e to the power minus s plus s naught t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now we will compare the, the two expressions, expression for Laplace transform of xt and the expression for Laplace transform of this e to the power minus s naught t from sorry e to the power minus s naught t xt. So in the expression of Laplace transform of xt, we have s here, that's why it is x of s. And in the expression for Laplace transform of e to the power minus s naught t xt, we have s plus s naught. So this is x of s plus s naught. It means if Laplace transform of xt is xs with ROC r, then Laplace transform of e to the power minus s not t xt is x of s plus s naught and in ROC r, s is replaced by s plus s naught. Similarly, we can write the Laplace transform for e to the power plus s naught t xt and it should be x of s minus s naught and in ROC r which is the ROC for x of s, s is replaced by s minus s naught and that will give the ROC of x of s minus s naught. This is the shifting in s domain property of Laplace transform. Now let's see few examples of shifting in S domain property. Laplace transform of ut is 1 by s and its ROC is real value of s greater than 0. Now 
this ut is multiplied with e to the power minus 60 ut to find the laplace transform of this signal we will apply shifting in s domain property of laplace transform and the laplace transform will be 1 upon s plus 6 so in roc this s is also replaced by s plus 6 so roc is real value of s plus 6 should be greater than 0 or real value of s and real value of 6 is 6 should be greater than 0 or real value of s should be greater than minus 6 this should be the roc now let's see one more property one more problem Laplace transform of u of minus t minus of u of minus t is 1 upon s and the ROC is real value of s less than 0. Now this signal is multiplied with e to the power minus 60 u minus t. Basically signal is multiplied with this factor. So the Laplace transform of new signal is 1 upon s plus 6. Again we have used the frequency shifting property of Laplace transform. Here this is xt and right side is xs. This is e to the power minus s naught t xt. So right side is x s plus s naught so laplace transform is 1 upon um, s plus 6 so now in roc also s is replaced by s plus 6 so the new roc is real value of s plus 6 less than 0 which is real value of s plus 6 because real value of 6 is 6 should be less than 0 or real value of s should be less than minus 6 this will be the roc so that's how we use shifting in s domain property of laplace transform to find the laplace transform of different signals